Hi ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here for this tutorial and in this tutorial I'd like to try to put a couple things in perspective just so you can sort of understand what's happening here. I have ACT, the hosted version of ACT, and with the hosted version of ACT I receive access to all my data via a web browser with ACT in the cloud, ACT Premium for Web. Now. This is my master database. This is really like the server where all my data is stored. From this database, I have created a remote database, which is the database that goes with my ACT desktop software. As a subscriber, in most cases, you get both pieces of the software. Now, on that note, changes I make here when I synchronize it to handheld contact API they'll come right into my handheld contact devices upon synchronization because this is talking right to this website. Now, if you have ACT Premium a subscription, but you don't have this portion or this option, you can also connect ACT to handheld contact through what's called ACT Connect. And that allows you to make that connection to your master database, even if you don't have the cloud or web version part of this process. So I just want to explain that in a little bit of detail. But I want you to write down a name, if you would, for this training. Chuck Smith. Chuck Smith is someone that if you look down in the bottom left-hand corner, I've already typed in his name, and I'm going to click Look Up. And when I get to Chuck Smith, you will notice that down under the activities today, I have scheduled three activities for Chuck Smith. And all of those activities, all three of them, are part of my handheld contact calendar. But I'm going to come up and I'm going to schedule another activity. This time, why don't we go up and schedule a meeting? So I'm going to click on meeting. I'm going to schedule it for today. Let's schedule it for tonight. Uh, da, da, da. Let's go down to, say, 6 p.m. because it's getting a little later on the day. It's going to be for one hour and I'm going to call this meeting number two. Okay. And once I type this in, I'm going to click OK. Actually, I'm going to do an alarm for this. Actually, I won't. I'm going to click OK. And now I have set the meeting. It will refresh and you'll see the meeting scheduled down below right there, meeting number two. So that's how I just entered this information into ACT, the web version. Now, once my desktop version synchronizes with this, typically on the hour, it will be in there. But I'm going to move away from this for a minute. I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to come in to handheld contact for both here on this iPad and here on my iPhone. If I scroll down the iPhone, you'll see there are my three scheduled meetings. Test one, two, and three. Because the iPad's bigger, it's easier to see, but those are there. I'm going to now go up and I'm going to initiate or push a sync manually by clicking on the two, or sort of what the looks like the two arrows that form a circle. And when I do that, it's going to take me to this page and I'm going to click on sync now. Now, what I anticipate will come over is one activity, and there it is. I'm going to click on back. I'm going to scroll down a little bit, and there's my meeting with Chuck Smith. Now I'm going to go over to the iPad. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to click on Sync Now. That one activity will come in. I'm going to click on back, and there's my meeting number two with Chuck Smith. See how quick that was? See how easy it is to set that up? Now, if I had not pushed the sync manually, that would have come in in about 10 minutes. So that's how we get in here. But now that we're in here, how do we deal with these items now that we're looking at them within Handheld Contact API? So in the next tutorial, we'll look at some of these meetings, clearing them and working with them and getting them out of the process so that we get them cleared and make histories out of them. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tony Holowitz. Thank you very much. Have a great day.